Hi, I'm Dr. Tomoki Itamiya from a School of Design, Tokyo University of Technology, Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about new method uh, to create 3D medical model from CT MRI image. The purpose of our study is a promotion of the use of 3D medical model on your PC. Then, the improve the quality of case conference and academic presentation like this, and uh, creating teaching materials for the students, and uh, informed consent, and information sharing using internet. The conventional method is using STL5, as you know. STL5 is a standard format of medical 3D application like this. Mimics a 3D MD. It's a very unique and 3D scanner from a digital photography. And the free home is a simulation software using haptic device Phantom. Their softwares are using STL5. STL5 uh, characteristic is easy to exchange, the easy to output, easy to import. But STL5 file size is very large. And for instance, the skull model, skull bone model STL5 size is about and, uh, 100 megabyte. It's very huge to use on your PC. And STL5 is not easy to reuse. And if you'd like to STL5 to send uh, by using email, uh, it's hard to uh, send by email. Then we have developed the solution XBL5. XBL5, the new type of 3D medical model file format. XBL5 is very lightweight and a highly precise uh, 3D model format. Then it can be emitted to the MS Office and the web browser like Internet Explorer. Then 3D annotation and animation can be embedded into the 3D model by using XBL5. Then fusion of various software files and as you know Mimix and the 3D MD and um, um, free home. There are many kinds of uh, medical application software. Then XB5 can fusion the various software STL5. Then a ca casual use of 3D medical content will be possible by using XB5. XB5 has very good complex technologies. Here's an example of using XP5. This is the enzyme model. The CAD model is very large, as you know. But uh, if you use XP model, this huge model can be compressed into very tiny size. Then, uh, our research uh, is by using XBL5 into the medical model. This is the structure of our system. Uh, there are many kinds of software in the medical application, like Mimics, Naturally DMD, the free home can create STL file uh, from a CTMRI and DICOM data or real patient data. Now there are some kind of 3D model in market. Then by using Expel Studio, uh, we have a uh, newly developed. This software can be converted STL to the XBL file. Then can be add animation 
and it can be add annotation. The Excel Studio is a key software of our system. Then, the medical Excel file can be made by using Excel Studio. And the model file can be edited into the Microsoft Excel, the Microsoft PowerPoint slide, and can be opened on the Internet Explorer. Then, if you use the VBA, a Visual Basic Macro, that you can uh, create the original uh, VBA Macro online test by using 3D medical model, like this. This is an example of Excel plus 3D XBL file. The medical model can be embedded into the Excel file, like this. So you can uh, rotate and zoom and zoom up and down and freely. This is very unique. It's a demonstration video. The heart is beating like this. The trillion addition can be seen like this. The beating animation can be added like this. Zooming up, the rotation is also possible by using your mouse. I say again, this is the Excel file. You can embed it into the Excel file. Now this is a uh, critical case. Left side is the STL file by using original method. Right side, uh, XP file uh, converted uh, by our software, by using our software. The file size of STL file is very large, as you can see, and 75 megabyte. But XP file is only 2.9 megabyte. Very small, very small file. But it, as you can see, the quality of the 3D model is the same as STL, the XPL. This is the patient's case too. Left side is original STL file. 79.2 megabyte. The right side is x bit file, 3.6 megabyte. This is a x bit file embedded into the PowerPoint slide. As you can see, 3D model can rotate really by using mouse. I'm using this mouse. And the 3D annotation can be embedded like this. Then uh, if uh, you use a new uh, lecture recording system, you can record like this.
this is another 3D model. Hop. The model also can be rotated like this. Also, and uh, characterize is also possible by using white mode. The three D model can be embedded into the PowerPoint slide uh, two or more. 3D model can be embedded into one slide like this. This is the patient's real data. Left side the uh, before operation, right side the post operation. The file size is very small, and uh, you can see the change the before operation, after operation. And you can rotate freely and the three D annotation on the three D model can be seen like this. I think this function it's very useful for case conferencing and the patient's informed consent and the information sharing. The conclusion that we have developed the new type of 3D medical model file format, uh, XBL, is a very lightweight and highly precise and emitted to the MS office and the web browser. Then uh, you can share the 3D medical model uh, through the internet. Then annotation and animation can be added. Very easy to understand by using 3D model. Then a uh, fusion of various software files. Then we propose casual use of 3D medical content. Thank you for your attention.